Good day class. How are you today? I hope you are doing great. I am Cherubim C. Sardana and welcome to another video lesson in TLE 10 Cookery. For today's video lesson, we are going to discuss the third module for our first quarter, Present Egg Dishes. This module was designed and written with you in mind. It is here to help you master present egg dishes. The scope of this module permits it to be used in many different learning situations. The language used recognizes the diverse vocabulary level of students. The lessons are arranged to follow the standard sequence of the course, but the order in which you read them can be changed to correspond with the textbook you are using now. The module covers the lesson, Lesson 3, Present Egg Dishes. After going through this module, you are expected to Number 1, select suitable plates according to standards. Number 2, present egg dishes hygienically and attractively using suitable garnishing and side dishes sequentially within the required time frame. Topics Number 1. 8 simple ways to present food like a chef. Number 2. Different techniques in presenting egg dishes attractively. Number 3. Types of dinner plate and its uses. Number 4. Types of garnish. Number 5. Side dish. What I know. Activity 1. Direction. Answer the following multiple choice question. Write your answer on a separate piece of paper. For question number 1. This is a piece or small amount of food or dish placed alongside the main dish. Letter A. Garnish. Letter B. Carbohydrates. Letter C. Side dish. Letter D. Syrups. Number 2. This is a tableware used to serve the main dish. Letter A. Appetizer plate. Letter B. Dinner plate. Letter C. Dessert plate. Letter D. Salad bowl. Number 3. An egg dish done by boiling an egg in hot water. Letter A. Scrambled egg. Letter B. Fried egg. Letter C. Hard boiled egg. Letter D. Poached egg. Number 4. An egg dish that involves preservation of a duck egg in salt and ash in a given number of days and then boiled. Letter A. Hard boiled egg. Letter B. Salad egg. Letter C. Salted egg. Letter D. Deviled egg. Number 5. This is used to decorate or embellish food that brings additional impact in the presentation of a dish. Letter A. Dessert. Letter B. Garnish. Letter C. Main dish. Letter D. Side dish. What I know. Identify the egg dish shown in the figure below. Write your answer on a separate piece of paper. You can pause this video for you to answer the question. In your previous lesson, you already discussed the different market forms of eggs 
and its uses as an ingredient to prepare different dish. This time, in our lesson, we are going to develop a skill in presenting egg dishes. We are going to learn different ways to present our egg dish. What's new? Activity 2. Coloring is fun. From around your kitchen, we're going to look for colors. Can you help me find colorful food in our kitchen that is edible and can be used to present food for serving? Direction Listed below are names of colors. Try to find the food. It may be solid or liquid in form that is exactly or as close as the color listed below. You can also add some if you want. Red, orange, black, white, green. You can pause this video for you to answer the question. What's new? Activity 3. Direction. List at least two egg dish that is familiar and common to every Filipino household. What is it? Guide questions. Number one, if you are going to present a dish, is it important to use appropriate tableware? Why? And will this affect the presentation itself? Number two, why is color important in presenting your dish? How will it affect your presentation? Number three, is it possible to make a very simple egg dish very appealing to your eyes? How? Here are some tips that will help you be better when presenting even the simplest dishes. Let us now discuss the eight simple ways to present food like a chef. Number one, set the table properly. A presentable table always make food preparation more enticing. Ensure the proper arrangement of cutlery, glasses, and other tableware. Number two, choose your plates wisely. Plates have different size and uses. Choose the right plate for each dish. Number three, red the clock. Consider placement of dish from the diner's point of view. Carbohydrates like rice, pasta, and others are preferably placed at 11 o'clock and proteins at 6 o'clock. These would also bring room for vegetables that may consume half of the plate and starts at about one fourth. Number four, have a little bit of height. A cup of rice or mashed potato can depict a height on the dish. To add more height, you can lean a steak or barbecued meat on the rice and place vegetables on the side. Number five, be add. When placing small or bite size of dish, it would look good in the eye if you place odd number of pieces than having them in even pieces. Number six, play with color and texture. We cannot deny that color will catch your attention immediately. Green leaves or herbs can catch our attention. Same with sliced red tomatoes or as simple as colored napkin. Number seven, play with height. A mound of rice with vegetables on its base will give emphasis on height of the rice and will easily catch our attention. Number eight, garnish appropriately. You can choose any garnish of your desire to your dish as long as it will complement the dish. Just remember 
do not overdo it as this would damage or affect the overall taste of the dish itself. Egg dishes are simple and easy to prepare. Regardless of this, you'll have a very plenty amazing ways to prepare it. Here are some different ways of doing it. Different techniques in presenting egg dishes attractively. Sunny side egg with fried rice. Scrambled egg with toasted bread. Salted egg with atsara. Scrambled egg and chicken hot dog. Salted egg with tomatoes. Scrambled egg with atsara. Hard boiled egg and chicken hot dog with atsara. Hard boiled egg and fried egg with atsara. Hard boiled egg with atsara. Hard boiled egg with toasted bread. Six types of dinner plates and its uses. Number one, dinner plate. This type of plate is both used in lunch and dinner. The size of this plate is around 11 to 12 inches across. Number two, dessert plate. This plate is served with desserts and can also be used for snacks and appetizers. It is usually 18 cm in diameter. Number 3. Bread and Butter Plate This plate is used to serve bread and butter and sometimes called quarter plate or side plate. The size of this plate is 15 cm in diameter. Number 4. Soup plate or bowl. For watery food or soup, we use soup plate or bowl. Soup plate or bowls informally or informal diners or dinners are shorter in height than ordinarily soup plate or bowl. The top of it has an arc like a bowl. Number 5. Salad bowl. This plate is usually to serve salad. They are commonly round in shape and size range from 20 to 22 centimeters. Number 6. Appetizer plate. This plate is bigger than bread and butter plate. It has different sizes that starts from 17 centimeters depending upon the need. After learning about plates, you are now ready for plating. One of the most important factors in plating is garnishing. Garnishing should be edible and enhance the flavor of the dish and will add additional impact on the appearance of the dish. Type of garnish A lot of different ingredients can be used as garnishing. Let's look at the most common type of garnishes used to enhance the look and flavor of a dish. Number 1. Herbs and Leaves The most common herbs and leaves used for culinary in the Philippines is spring onions, celery, moringa or malunggay, and bitter gourd, ampalaya leaves. Lot of choices are available as long as it serves its purpose. Number 2. Roots and Greens You can use radish, onions, and other root crops as your garnish. Greens such as lettuce is also widely used as garnish. Number 3. Edible Flowers You can also use edible flowers such as dill flowers. Marigold, Rose Petals, Blue Nastor Cubes, and Santan Flower. Calabasa Flower is also a very well-known edible flower. Number 4. Fruits and Vegetables Peas, Carrots, Lemons, Avocados, Bananas, and other fruits and vegetables 
are also popular garnishes. Number 5. Purees Fruit puree such as avocado and mangoes can be used to add color on your dish. You can choose any puree of your desire. Number 6. Sauces and syrup The most used and readily available sauce is tomato paste or sauce. Some readily available sauces are barbecue sauce and teriyaki sauce. For desserts and sweets, you can use chocolate syrups or honey. Apart from garnish, side dish is also essential in presenting a dish. A side dish is literally a dish placed on the side of the main dish. It will serve as main additional small amount of food that will complement the main dish. Some common side dishes are salad, vegetables, or rice. There are unlimited choices of your side dish of your desire. Here are some tips on how to handle eggs. Purchasing Do not buy dirty, cracked, or outdated eggs. Storage Number 1 Store at 45 degrees Fahrenheit or below. Number 2. Store in closed container. Number 3. Store away from strong odors. Number 4. Refrigerate leftover eggs, dishes, in shallow container containers. Number 5. Do not allow drippings to contaminate eggs. Preparation and Cooking Number 1. Keep refrigerated before and after cooking. Number 2. Keep everything clean. Number 3. Use only clean, not cracked eggs. Number 4. Cook thoroughly. Number 5. Wash container. Use for egg thoroughly. Number 6. Use egg separator. Service or transport. Number 1. Serve promptly after cooking. Number 2. Keep cold food cold. Hot food hot. Number 3. Use ice or cold packs when transporting. Number 4. Avoid eating raw eggs or food that contain raw eggs. Activity 4. Direction. True or false. Answer the questions accordingly. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Number 1. Height is an element of presenting a dish. Number 2. Table setting is not important as long as you present your dish. Number 3. Never play with color. There should only be one color when presenting a dish. Number 4. Garnish must be edible and enhance the flavor of the food. Number 5. Always keep cold food cold. Egg dishes varies and the mean of presenting it also applies. Always remember that your goal when presenting a dish is to entice the customer and provide first impressions. The 8 tips that was mentioned above were just guide. You can always put a personal touch in every presentation depending on your need or preference. An egg may be a simple main ingredient, but there will be plenty ways of presenting egg dishes as mentioned earlier. You just need to pick the dish that is applicable for you or applicable to any given event. As your skill improve and develop, you can customize those egg dishes or even make a dish of your own. Activity 5. If you are to serve a food, it is important to use appropriate blank according to its use in order for you to serve and present your food accordingly. Number 2. Any garnish on the plate would be blank 
and should blank the flavor of the main dishes. Number 3. There are blank guides given from the lesson and there are blank egg dishes presented. Activity 6. Direction. Arrange the given steps chronologically in preparing a hard-boiled egg dish. Boil the egg appropriately. Serve the dish. Peel the egg and sit on a plate. Garnish the dish accordingly. Prepare the tools and ingredients needed. Assessment Direction Name what type of egg dish is presented below. You can pause this video for you to answer the question. Multiple choice. Answer correctly the following questions. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Number 11. This is a piece or small amount of food or dish placed alongside the main dish. Letter A. Garnish. Letter B. Carbohydrates. Letter C. Side dish. Letter D. Zero. Number 12. This is a tableware used to serve the main dish. Letter A. Appetizer plate. Letter B. Dinner plate. Letter C. Dessert plate. Letter D. Salad bowl. Number 13. An egg dish done by boiling an egg in a water. Letter A. Scrambled egg. Letter B. Fried egg. Letter C. Hard boiled egg. Letter D. Poached egg. Number 14. An egg dish that involves preservation of a duck egg in salt and ash in a given number of days and then boiled. Letter A. Hard boiled egg. Letter B. Salad egg. Letter C. Salted egg. Letter D. Deviled egg. Number 15. This is used to decorate or embellish food that brings additional impact in the presentation of a dish. Letter A. Dessert. Letter B. Garnish. Letter C. Main dish. Letter D. Side dish. Additional activities. Direction. Letter A. Prepare a step-by-step -step procedure of presenting a fried egg dish with rice and chicken hot dog. Arrange it accordingly. Letter B. List all the tools and ingredients you use. You can check your answer with this answer key. Thank you for learning with me and I hope to see you in our next video lesson.